What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do something slightly different today. It's not quite breaking news, but it is something of news uh, worthiness set of thing, uh, and I just wanted to, to to jump on it and give you the heads up because I'm excited for it, and it's probably one of the most exciting things that I've heard uh, that WordPress is going to be doing since the uh, Gutenberg uh, launch uh, almost a year ago, whether you want to label that as exciting or not. But you can see uh, the first take on it on WP Tavern where Anders Norn is going to be creating the 2020 default theme, which will ship with WordPress 5.3 sometime in hopefully early November. And they quoted me in this article because I really do think that this is going to be the most exciting thing. And it's going to be something that's going to really help people adopt Gutenberg, in my opinion. Now, I haven't really been using Gutenberg up until Chaplin came out. And that's Chaplin, a theme that Andrew's already designed and created. It's on WordPress.org. I actually have another video about that. I'll link that up here uh, so you can see how to put that theme together. But with the the simplicity, the ease of use, and just the sheer joy of using that theme, I really took to uh, to using Gutenberg. And I've been sort of playing with my local podcast site, still sort of in motion here, but I'm sort of piecing it together when I have time. And I've just enjoyed the experience of the Chaplin theme. I really enjoy the readability, um, what I can do with Gutenberg in terms of just keeping a nice lightweight site down. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to this 2020 theme because I really think it's going to help the adoption of uh, of Gutenberg and more of just a refined WordPress experience. And I, I sort of said, like, right now, if you don't pick the right theme, it's like you have an early version of iOS, but it's in a BlackBerry bold body, right? It's like you have something that's almost there. I mean, it's not as refined as iOS is today, but I do feel like it, it will get there, and I think they're doing a good job with Gutenberg and everything. Um, but this theme will really be the connection of all that stuff you're working with in the back end to make it look really good uh, on the front end. So uh, if you want to take a look at what the theme is going to look like, you can go to make.wordpress.org. You can see the article introducing 2020 written by Anders Noren. You can see the preliminary screenshots of what he's thinking about doing with the theme. Now this is based off of Chaplin, so a lot of the pieces here are going to be pulled from Chaplin uh, in order to expedite the launch uh, of such a short window to get a core default theme, or excuse me, a default theme out with core uh, in version 5.3 when it's released. So if you want to chime in, you want to read the comments, or you want to get involved, definitely check out make.wordpress.org, see where um, you know the screenshots are headed. If you want to start to dabble with it, you can get a very early, early version, and this is not complete by any stretch of the imagination. If you go to WordPress GitHub account, you can go to github.com slash WordPress slash 2020 uh, and download it. And you can actually see from the time I'm, right, I'm making this video, which is uh, Saturday afternoon, um, about you know early this morning, he was actually working on it, or somebody was deploying code uh, towards it. So I installed it. I put it together on a, on a quick staging site just to see you know what it looks like and it's very much chaplain except for the sort of the, of course the body area um that the, the post titles and, and the content uh, and if i click on uh, the home page it'll just kind of bring you back and you can see this will be what the blog archive is sort of shaping up to be structuring up to be when you click it it sort of just takes a, a different shape there so you can play with it you can go ahead and download it if you want to be the first to really start to play with some of the features you know and colors are you know, obviously very limited at this point, but you can kind of see where he's headed to with, you know, accent colors and being able to modify that um, to make the theme uh, as uh, as you want it to look, right? And as you want to make it look. And But some of these things here, like the, the cover template, this is all pulled from Chaplin. Uh, don't know if that'll stay, but that's certainly something uh, that I enjoy using uh, in the Chaplin theme, especially when he has his cover templates. And again, check out my video on Chaplin uh, if you want to see that stuff. Uh, and, you know, playing around with uh, some of the uh, search features here uh, is kind of cool because you can kind of have that that real minimalist uh, style. So if I enable the search button again, it sort of, uh, and actually disable the modal, um, it sort of puts everything into the menu as a nice, really clean simplistic way, but if you want that menu to uh, expand, you can just disable the, the menu modal by default. So pretty cool stuff. I'm very excited for 2020. Um, I think this will be a theme that I'm going to be using on a ton of sites. And, uh, you know, I, I'm actually kind of afraid for all of those all-inclusive, you know, do-it-yourself themes that have everything in it, because this is going to be pretty good. Um, and it's going to be a pretty good win for 
core WordPress, right? For somebody who wants to just stay as lightweight as possible without having to add all kinds of uh, different things from different vendors or different authors, this is going to be pretty killer. Uh, and I'm pretty excited for it because Anders uh, has a lot of amazing themes. So check it out. 2020, it's coming soon uh, in the version 5.3 release. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you want more, subscribe to the channel. It's Plug in Tut, plugintut.com slash subscribe. If you want to join that mailing list, don't forget to check out my podcast all about WordPress entrepreneurship, mattreport.com, mattreport.com slash subscribe if you want to join that mailing list. All right, we'll see you in the next video.